Today started out kind of murky, and then we had the beautiful afternoon sunshine coming in. We're in a warmer and more humid weather pattern now that could bring us some showers and storms at times right through the middle of the week. But right now, temperatures almost feel like summer out there with more noticeable humidity too. Readings range from the mid-70s to around 80 degrees in the News 9 coverage area, including 76 presently in Wausau, 78 the current temperature reading in Eagle River, 80 presently in Wisconsin Rapids. Now we are tracking an area of showers and storms to the southwest of Wisconsin. This wave of low pressure is generally tracking to the northeast. If it holds together, it could bring some shower and thunderstorm activity to our area later this evening and overnight. And it's just the start of a period of unsettled weather. We can have a chance of additional showers and storms tomorrow, Tuesday, even into early Wednesday before a little bit of a change in the weather pattern will reduce that chance of showers and storms. So tonight it will stay warm and humid too. Lows in the area at 60 to 65. Southeast wind will be light at around 5 miles per hour. Today in Wausau up to 76 so far. We'll see if we go any little bit warmer with that late afternoon sunshine. The average is 69, so we're well above that. But no records today. That was 92 set in 2010. Sun will be setting this evening at 31 past 8 p.m. High temperature tracker shows we'll keep this mild and humid theme going through the middle of the week. By Thursday, the humidity levels will begin to drop, and that's going to lead to a cooler uh, period at the end of the week. But in the meantime, rather summer-like weather conditions are going to be with us. And current temperatures across the region show that there is a cold front lurking out over the northern plains into the Missouri Valley. To the east of it, it is very summer-like with temperature readings right now into the 80s, even 90 degrees, the current reading in Chicago. To the west of the front, much cooler, more spring-like weather conditions. It will take until later in the day, third, uh, Wednesday, excuse me, for that front to really push through the area. So that's why we're going to have the chance of showers and storms at times the next few days. And look at how busy our satellite and radar view is just in our region here. Little waves of low pressure, numerous waves producing areas of showers and storms. The one that came through here yesterday is now well to the east. We're watching this approaching for tonight and tomorrow. And then that cold front will push a little bit closer tomorrow, and that could help to trigger some afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity. Our severe weather outlook the rest of the day and tonight shows the chance of thunderstorms throughout the state. A marginal lowest and severe risk in parts of western and southwestern Wisconsin. Maybe some hail and gusty winds with storms that come in later this evening and tonight. Tomorrow afternoon and evening we'll have a marginal risk, another low end risk for severe storms, but this will be through much of central and northern Wisconsin. Again, there will be a chance of thunderstorms producing hail and gusty winds. Our Monday forecast through the day for 7 a.m. We're looking at humid conditions, 62 to 67 degrees. Wind will be light from the southeast. During Memorial Day afternoon, we'll have that chance of showers and storms redeveloping. Highs will be pretty mild with temperature readings in the 70s to around 80 degrees. It will feel humid out there too. So again, kind of a summer feel, south wind at 6 to 13 miles per hour Monday afternoon. Then the seven day forecast keeps those on and off chances of showers and storms through Wednesday. Then we transition to a little bit cooler and less humid weather uh, pattern Thursday through Saturday. A few more showers possible again next Sunday.